Good morning guys in today's video of course a little bit info about the Bitcoin price Yes, I'm going to show you how I got my beautiful Emily debit card back in a bank wearing this cap and some other attributes Also showing you why I have this small headache this morning. Enjoy the video guys <laughs> a slight headache from last night why last night like next to us on the beach they had a grand opening of their wellness center so they had live music they had a reggae band playing so they invited me to come over there to have some drinks and it was a lot of fun because you know after this long lockdown no live music period finally we could listen to the beautiful beats of reggae again here on the beautiful island of Kopangan <laughs> evening with music and some drinks and some food and my friend Jet joined me after that we went into a bar for one or two more hours and then it was like 12 30 and I drank too much of course and that is what gives you a headache but what are we going to do today today we will start this day with picking up my card because you know I lost my Emily uh, debit card my Bitcoin Emily debit card my beautiful golden one I lost it the ADM ate it the bank called me and he said Didi if you take your original passport with you you can pick up the card somewhere in the center of Tongsala at our bank office so let's do that first and then talk a little bit about the news and make it a short video today because I have a headache it is early guys but I am in the middle of Tongsala the building behind me the yellow one that's the bank building I supposed to get back my card over there of course my cap and I need to wear this mouthpiece if you go into the banks and it's still locked down so you still need to wear these mouth things if you go into these official things like banks or 7-elevens so I need to wear one let's see which one I will choose a beautiful one I think do you like it I will enter the bank and get my Bitcoin debit card back from the mouth <laughs> let's see yeah, thank you Guys, I have my card back, finally, bam. Yes, they found it in the machine. Yeah, Didi, now you can lose the thing again, you're outside. They found my card in the machine. They don't know if I can use these cards in the ATMs because they have like these old things where the metal cards maybe don't work. But they tell me you can go inside to the bank and just use the card with a password and then you can withdraw money. Let's not do that now. Let's take a jump into my beautiful office again. Yes, it's a beautiful day here on Koh Phangan, Thailand. Yes, the day started with picking up my Bitcoin debit card at a bank building. This one, I got it back. My beautiful Emily Bitcoin debit card. I still need to test it, but I will first figure out if I can use it in ATMs because it's a metal card and it's really heavy. And I think the newer ATM machines will support them, but I don't know if these old ones here support them so i will first do my research before i use it in the car again and the machine again but he told me you are welcome didi to come into side of the bank and use your bitcoin debit card and cash it uh, your daiba there if you just show your passport ha. i don't want to show my password every transaction but you know thanks for the good service but to be honest guys this whole situation made me rethink the fundamentals of bitcoin and everything of course yes we should be able to directly transact bitcoins we shouldn't need to use these cards and to be honest i love these cards because as a family we need them because we can still not pay everything with bitcoin so these cards simplify the use of bitcoin for us on the moments we don't find hotels restaurants all the daily needs um, for di direct bitcoin payments um so i love the cards but i think they are a step in between till the end goal that we can you know directly pay with our bitcoin wallets and probably these cards because they all have an app attached will be very popular bitcoin wallets in the future now i use embly with the card but maybe in the future they will evolve to just another bitcoin wallet app with a huge database of users because they all use the card before first and then you can just use the app um, to pay bitcoins directly at the same time 
I see this happening at the most Bitcoin debit cards. I loved using Wirex for a very long time. And um, this app was also amazing. You know, you have Bitcoin there, Ethereum, Litecoin, so you can send and receive Bitcoins there to your Bitcoin wallet. You can exchange them to euros. But because I used Wirex too much in the last couple of years, now I needed to fill this form with all kinds of questions. What is my job? Can I provide the source of income? All that stuff, which makes me realize again that that is exactly not what we want with Bitcoin. We want to be able to do micro transactions in a peer-to-peer -peer way with a peer-to-peer -peer cash like Bitcoin. Um, because I don't want to tell my whole story, how I make money, how much money we had, how much I inherited, how much is my capital to some kind of company that is just providing me of a card. This does not mean that I didn't like Wirex because the service they have been providing was awesome. You know, the card, I could use it all over the world. I've been using it for more than two years. It is perfect what Wirex uh, has created. I don't want to be using these services if they require me to not only do KYC, but also fill all these forms that in my opinion are just very private things um, that I don't need to share with somebody because Bitcoin is changing the future. And I think soon we will be using these Bitcoin wallets all over the world without using cards, without using bank accounts, without using any KYC, all that stuff. But that is what I think about the whole situation. Again, I love to use these cards. I need these cards with my family. But if it comes to me, guys, I would advise all these card companies to don't start to look like a bank again, because man, that is not what we want in this crypto community, in my opinion. Which also brings me to another story because I read this amazing article about how many Bitcoin ATMs there now are in the world. How much do you think they are? I will give you like three seconds to think of an answer, maybe even comment. And while you comment, then push this thumbs up thing, push the bell thing, push the subscribe thing, uh, and then leave this comment. But how much Bitcoin ATMs you think that are worldwide are? Okay, are you ready? Yes, there are now 8,000 Bitcoin ATMs all over the world. In the last six months, 1,700 Bitcoin ATMs were installed all over the world. So the growth curve is increasing tremendously. And the more Bitcoin machines we have all over the world, the easier it will become to onboard Bitcoin. Why? Because these Bitcoin ATMs are not only usable to sell your Bitcoins, you can also use them to buy Bitcoins. You go there with your cash, you put the cash in and you get Bitcoins. Yes, guys, be aware because most companies, they have this limit that if you transact more than 10,000 US dollars in these machines, they need to verify you with a password and all this stuff. So if you buy Bitcoins at these machines, just make sure you buy less 10K at a time and make sure you take one that doesn't have a too high fee because the fees range between four and 10% at these machines, which is not bad if you just need to exchange cash money into Bitcoins, which you then can spend all over the world. But again, it is better if you buy them with the lowest possible fee, of course. So let's take a look at this two year MA chart. This is a chart where you can see the two year moving average. It's a beautiful chart that shows us a lot of things. So let's zoom in into this chart. Now we are on the chart. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see guys that every time we come from the peak of a bull run, we go into this bearish time. This is always when we cross this two year moving average downwards. And then you see this, we cross the line downwards and then you see this, you know, this filled piece, which is a little bit greenish. That part is our bear time. And then when we cross the line again upwards, we don't cross the line downwards again till the end of the next bull run, as you can see on the chart. What is different this time is that we came down, again we crossed this two year moving average line, you see the green cup, then we came a little bit above it last year where we saw this run to 14k, but after the 14k we crossed below the line again. Now we started to cross this line again in an upward movement, which could say that this bull run is now officially starting, because if we would do the same as the last two bull runs, 
then we would not go below 7k again because this line the two-year moving average is around 7,000 US dollars so if we keep this line as a support then we won't go below 7k again why is it a little bit different this time that is what you see on the chart because we had this green part of the bear time we came a little bit up and we came down again below the line if you compare it to the normal bear times I think this peak of 14k last year was like a peak that we shouldn't have seen so normally this green part would have been bigger and then we would be crossing up um, this uh, two-year moving average line again without having this bump in between if we repeat what we did the last two times in the bull run this is the start of the bull run and this means we will not cross the line downwards again so we will not fall below 7k again and we will see this insane bull run in the next two years yes guys i said two years that means that the next couple of weeks months we could still have this sideways movement of bitcoin the table tennis game i referred to yesterday as ping pong but then i thought maybe not everybody refers it to it as ping pong maybe most people in the world call it table tennis we are still playing this table tennis game between 8k and 10k 8k and 10k we are already in this range now for more than one and a half month so I think we could be even longer in this. Again, it is an investment for the long term. I think it will take no longer than two years to see this bull run ending up in a new all time high. So, you know, just buy and huddle like my cap says. And before I'm going to wish you an amazing day, I want to thank you so much for watching all these videos. We now even have videos that are watched 3000 times or even 4000 times. This is amazing if you see we grew from like videos being watched four till 600 times now into thousands of times. This is all just possible because of you guys, because of you guys watching my videos, because of you guys sharing my videos. I wanna thank you for this and thank you for the support from the bottom of my and my whole family's heart. And um, please keep sharing the message. Next goal will be 10K followers. 10k views every day because we want to spread this message more and more we need your help in sharing the message and we need to start monetizing the channel so we can share these revenues with the poor people all over the world i want to thank you of course for watching the video subscribe to our get channel give it a thumbs up share the video and if you're up to it even hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video and yes of course you can leave a comment i love comments because i love to answer your comments back i wish you an amazing day and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living but if you enjoy these single minutes of the day with a little bit of alcohol that can ruin your morning <laughs> like it's ruining my morning now thank you for watching i wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again bye